Hi everyone, my name is Max Welliver and I'm a senior at Raysbeck Aviation High School here in Seattle, Washington. And for my senior project, I will be studying and researching aerodynamic flow fields and high lift devices and leading edge devices to see how they affect wing performance. For this project, I will be constructing a seven and a half foot long wind tunnel and designing various airfoil configurations in Autodesk Inventor, 3D printing those and then putting them in the wind tunnel to uh, test their performance and see which one will generate the most lift before a stall. So the first few videos in this series will be constructing the wind tunnel itself and then later on I'll get into testing um, each separate airfoil. I'm really excited for this project so let's get started. I will be testing four different wing configurations in the wind tunnel once it is built. Um, all the airfoils will be based off of the USA 35 Bravo airfoil which is the Super Cubs airfoil. And the top picture there, which will be test one, is just the basic unchanged airfoil. Second picture down has the fixed leading edge cuff. The third test will have a 10 degree trailing edge flap, and that flap angle is subject to change if I can't find any differences in the data. Uh, but that will be determined later. And then the fourth and final test will be the high lift stole configuration, which has the fixed leading edge uh, cuff and the 10 degree trailing edge flap. So these were all designed in Autodesk Inventor by myself, and they will be 3D printed and then tested in the wind tunnel. So let's get on to the building. This is a photo of the wind tunnel plans from Accelerated Bridge Construction. The link to those plans are also in the description of this video if you'd like to build your own. Uh, it's a really great set of plans, and it offers a lot of versatility. So you could change this around from a blowing to a sucking wind tunnel. Um, and you can change the length or whatever you want to do to it. The materials are also pretty basic too. All right, so I've completed the flow straightener. This is the first component completed in the wind tunnel project. Um, so this part will be placed just after the fan here. So the fan's blowing turbulent air out this way, gets straight in the flow straightener there, and then continues on to the rest of the wind tunnel. So I'm making good progress and I'll be back um, for the next part. All right, hey guys, this is the uh, completed contraction portion of the wind tunnel. This is the second piece in line. You can see it here. Um, we just made the flow straightener and then the contraction element comes right here. So yeah, we have that done. We got the flow straightener over here and then the diffuser, which occurs at the very end of the wind tunnel is just a carbon copy of that. Um, so we'll be building that in a later um, segment here and then uh, now we're going to start construction on some of the test sections okay welcome back everybody I just completed the two working sections and this is going to be it for the first video the second video I'll get into more about building the test section with the clear plexiglass and more about how I will be actually um, maneuvering the airfoils inside that box when the wind tunnel is on. So thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more parts.